Ah, the flying edge. That title screen always reminds me of the THX opening thing you get at the cinema when it tells you how good their surround sound system is. Welcome, of course, to the review. WWF Royal Rumble on the Sega Mega Drive. This is also available on the Super Nintendo, but you won't be getting any blast processing there. Also available, of course, as you no doubt would have thought so, the Sega Genesis. This is WWF Royal Rumble. This is a fun game, I have to say. It's not a serious game, not in my book anyway. But it's definitely a fun game, especially if you've got friends over, you're having a few drinks before you go out, something like that. Features a lot of names you'd know, but not a lot of names you'd hope to see on there. There's no Ultimate Warrior, there's no, what, Big Boss Man. There is, of course, Hulk Hogan, Randy Savage, and The Undertaker. And apparently, according to the box art, it tells you that you can have uh, all of their trademark moves. I wasn't able to pull off any of them, but they're there. All the game modes you would imagine to be in a wrestling game are right there. 1v1, you've got tag team on there, three three man tag team as well. But of course, not forgetting the actual title itself, the Royal Rumble mode, which we can see on the screen right now. Kick and punch and choke hold your way to become the last man standing in this game. You win by throwing your opponents out of the ring, by the way, so don't try pinning them on this one. There's no, no point there, you'll be unsuccessful in that. But yeah, you can definitely choke hold them, or in this case, as we see here, a few um, suggestive moves. I like how this game gives an honourable mention in the credits to the uh, voice actors who supplied the grunts and groans. It's always nice to see everyone getting a mention there, especially those who've contributed so significantly to a game of such calibre. Some of the hilarious moments in this are when you are playing in tag team and you go and fight your opponent outside the ring, in which case the team members will get involved as well. I, I just love how Hulk Hogan just slowly saunters around here and bang, hits someone on the head with a chair. Brilliant. We leave them there to choke each other and then they just part ways as if nothing happened. I love that. Almost beautiful in fact. Is this a wrestling game that you should have in your Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis collection? Well, if you enjoy beating up referees... I would say absolutely yes, if you can pick it up for a good deal, maybe 20 to $30 depending on where you are. But is it a game that you're playing for hours on end? I don't know, but it's definitely a fun game if you've got 20 minutes, half an hour to spare, and you just want to have a bit of fun. Absolutely. Pull out the old Sega Mega Drive, stick this in, and away you go. Relive some of the glory days of WWF. It is Royal Rumble on the Sega Mega Drive. Three, two, 